Now, section 3.1, it's really introduction to graphing. How do you graph uh, a function? How do you plot a point? Well, before we get to graphing a function, let's start with studying or reminding you what the four coordinates are. Some of you call this XY plane, you know, depends what name you have for it. So we have four quadrants. This is called quadrant one. Notice when we count them, we count them counterclockwise. Quadrant two. And two, this is one. Quadrant three. Quadrant four. And these are what we call Cartesian coordinates, IV, that's four. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. To the right of the y-axis, x is positive. So x is positive here, and x is positive here. To the left of the y-axis, x is negative. What about the y-value? Above the x-axis, y is positive. And this is y is positive. Down here, y is negative below that. So a lot of times in a lot of math books, they write that like this, positive comma positive. Just like a point, x is always the first, y is always the second. x is positive, y is positive. Here what? x is negative, y is positive. This will be written like this, minus 1 comma plus. I mean minus comma plus. x is negative, y is positive. This one both negative, negative comma negative. And this one, x is positive, y is negative. So a lot of times you'll see it looking like this. Instead of x is positive, y is negative, you'll go x comma, I mean plus comma. That's not x. That's plus comma negative. Positive comma negative. This is x is negative, y is positive. This one, x is negative, y is negative. X is positive, Y is po so it's always X first, then Y second, always. Just like a point. When you label a point, it's always X comma Y. So let's see if you can graph just points here. X axis, Y axis, here we go. Let's put some numbers, one, two, three, four. Five, that's good. One, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Negative one, negative two, negative three, and so forth. Negative four. So if I ask you to locate the point three, comma 2. The center, this point here, is known as what? That's the origin. So you start from the origin, you move 3 units, positive 3 in the x direction, plus 3 in the x direction, 1, 2, 3. Then you're going to move what? plus 2 in the y direction. Plus 2, is that up or down? Up. So the point will be right there. That's where 3 comma 2 is. <coughs> 0 comma 3. Where is 0 comma 3? 
start at the origin and how many units I'm going to move in the x direction. How many units are you going to move in the x direction? Zero. Zero. That means stay there and move three in the y direction plus three. That means go up. That's right here. That's zero comma three. Minus four comma zero. Start at the origin, move negative 4, or 4 units to the left in the x direction. Minus means to the left. So that puts me right here. Then move 0 units in the y direction. That means stay there. That's a negative 4, comma 0. Two comma negative two. Start at the origin, which is right here. Move it two units in the x direction, then negative two, which means two down in the y direction. I think I think most of you seen this in high school. Anyone is not sure about this? Anyone, any question on it? I don't want to just keep uh, going over again and again if everyone's good on it. OK. That's actually the first section.